Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hi, my name is Janelle, and I upload new videos every Wednesday. Probably for the next two weeks, I'll have three videos up a week, but for sure, I will always have a video up on Wednesday. Today's video, I'm super excited to be filming because today I'll be sharing with you guys some more of my Amazon favorites. I did an Amazon favorites video probably about like four months ago. I honestly don't even remember when. And you guys loved it, and since then, I have actually created an Amazon shop where you can actually shop all of my Amazon favorites directly from my shop. I love shopping other people's shops because for me it's like a good way of like, okay I already trust this person's opinion like I know if I get this it's gonna be good and hope that's how you guys feel with me. Well, I will leave my Amazon shop down below with the stuff that I've mentioned in my previous video as well as stuff that I'll mention now and then also a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff. Uh, any more rambling let's get into the video but before we continue please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every Wednesday when I upload. Love you guys. We talk about some of my favorites. I'll be drinking my coffee. So good. I probably shouldn't have put lip gloss on because you know it's gonna get everywhere, but it's so good. So to start off, one of my first Amazon favorites are these clear coffee mugs that everybody honestly talks about. Mine came in a pack of two. I actually broke my other one because I'm so clumsy. So I do want to order another set, but I just think these are so cute and just so aesthetically pleasing. Everybody has them. They're adorable. And these came, like I said, in a pack of two for only 24 bucks. So if you want to add some cute little coffee mugs to your home, get these. Another thing that I got from Amazon to go with my coffee mugs is this frother, which I actually just used, so it probably has some leftover milk on there. I made my coffee in my room. But yeah, I picked this up from Amazon and it just makes like treating myself to coffee at home way more of a treat. Like I feel like I'm having a actual latte. Basically what that does is it helps so make the milk nice and frothy so you get that foaminess. All right, so moving on from home stuff, I guess I'll move on to more like techie stuff. The next purchase that I am in love with, I'm obsessed with, I think it's such a good bang for your buck that I got from Amazon and they are these wireless headphones right here. I use these every time I go to the gym. Well, and the gym was open. I love these for working out because they don't fall out of your ear. They're super good quality. The sound is great quality. And to make things better, they're only $26 versus the whopping like $200 that you would spend for AirPods by Apple. Meanwhile, I've actually used AirPods before and I can't tell the difference between like these and then like other AirPods. Like the sound quality is the exact same. They sit in the ear. If anything, I prefer the way these sit in the ear better. They feel more secure. These, um, they also like you can tap it if you want to stop the music if like someone's talking to you and you can tap it to start it again and I believe that's the same thing that the regular AirPods do. Yeah, the cool thing about these is that Alex was actually the first one to purchase them and he really liked them and apparently if you purchase these and you leave a good review, they'll send you another pair for free. Definitely check these out and then if you love them and you want to leave a good review, you'll get a second pair for free. They're also super easy to use. You just go to the Bluetooth setting in your phone, connect them, connect them, <laughs> connect them. They connect right away when you take them out of the casing. And then when you put them back in the casing, they disconnect. Um, you can charge it through here. The battery life is really long. So I am so in love with these. I don't think I'll, no, I know for a fact I'll never purchase real AirPods. Another tech kind of item that I really like is, I'm actually using it right now. So it's this little iPhone iPad stand. I like to sit it on my vanity while I'm getting ready. If I'm like watching YouTube videos, and then while I'm filming, I'll actually just put my iPad on it and it rests perfectly. Look at, there's me. <laughs> but yeah, it just holds my iPad if I'm like watching movies too, super secure. And it was only 10 bucks. So I just think it's so convenient for anybody to have. I also think it'll be great if I want to, or when I start filming more Instagram videos, because I could just prop my phone on there using my iPhone camera and I'm good to go. Also tech related is my iPhone case. So if you're like me and you're super clumsy and you just drop everything all the time and you want a secure case but you don't want it super bulky and you want it to still be aesthetically like cute, I would definitely get this case from Amazon. Oops, I'll show you guys here. So I have my little pop socket on the back. I love this because it's super cute, like pink marble detailing, 
But what's even better about it is that it actually has like a front protective screen. So I have protection from the front and the back, and then it has like the bumper all along the sides to protect it if it falls. I just got a brand new iPhone 11 not too long ago, and I know how clumsy I am. I was like, I can't afford to break it, but at the same time, I don't want to pray for Apple Care. So I just got this, and I've already dropped it, sad to say, a bunch of times, and it's still in great condition, super protective. So yeah, highly recommend this if you're clumsy like me and you want a good, protective, but cute iPhone case. So another purchase I got from Amazon, which is kind of tech related, I actually stole this from my sister's Christmas list. So it was funny, this year for Christmas, everybody just pretty much sent their Christmas list through like Amazon, like an Amazon wish list, and it made it so easy to shop, especially if you had Prime, it just made it so easy. But anyways, I saw that she had this on her list, and I also saw a bunch of other YouTubers talking about it, and I was like, those are cute, I want them. So, they're just these blue light glasses, as you can see, like, kind of has like a yellow tint to it. But what I love about these, first of all, they're super cute. So if I'm running errands and I don't have any makeup on and I want to cover my face, I'll just put these on. Um, and I also really like them for editing. I spend hours and hours and hours on my computer, whether I'm like editing my thumbnail, editing a YouTube video, and it can be very straining on the eyes. Not to mention the blue light. If I'm editing a video late at night, if I'm looking at like the blue light from my laptop, it makes it really hard to sleep at night. So basically what this does is it has like a yellow film, so it kind of protects your eye from the blue light. It makes it super easy to edit or use your computer or laptop for a long period of time without like giving you a headache or making like the light of your phone or anything strain your eye. I have absolutely been loving this for that purpose. It comes in a little box like this, but what's great about these is they actually came with a pack of two. So you also get a black pair. I prefer the clear ones, but these are cute too. Okay, they were only like $21. Should I leave these on? I hate when I can't see people's eyes in YouTube videos when they wear glasses. It drives me crazy, so I'm gonna take these off. So next, getting into some hair tools. No, this is not the $500 Dyson hair dryer. This is actually by the brand, it says Slope Hill. And I got this from Amazon recently. It's only $45. I'm hooked. It's so lightweight. I've never used the Dyson one, but I know that one's supposed to be lightweight. It's supposed to not be as loud as other hair dryers. I don't find that this one is ridiculously loud either. What's great about this is that it uses like cool air pressure um, and negative ions, I think, to like dry your hair without damaging it, or without making it frizzy. I'll blow dry my hair with this. It doesn't get frizzy. Whenever I'd use my other hair dryer, which was like honestly so cheap, so no wonder why my hair was frizzy. But whenever I dry my hair with that, my hair would be left so frizzy and dry feeling. This stuff, my hair, super soft, super shiny, dried, not frizzy. I also really love it for like drying my face after I apply setting spray. You can change the settings. It comes with like, um, like a medium, low, and high setting. I'm obsessed with it. It dries your hair quickly, efficiently, without damaging it. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. And again, $45 versus 500. Definitely try this one. All right, so next up, I wanted to share with you guys a new curling wand that I picked up. I remember I shared a Pro Beauty, Pro Beauty Tools curling iron in my last Amazon favorites. I wanted to get a bigger size barrel for when I want like looser waves like how I have right now. So I picked up this Hot Tools. It's an extra long curling iron as well. This one does have a clamp and this is one and a quarter inch. So this is actually all 24 karat gold throughout. Whenever I um, use this to curl my hair, it leaves it like so shiny as you can see, smooth even it holds a curly nice I like the big waves it gives and my favorite part about this is that it is an extra long barrel so if you have extra long hair like me your hair can fit around it and you don't have to like do it in sections if that makes sense I don't know if you have long hair you get the struggle when you're left with a curly wand that's like this long and you can only curl like the bottom of your hair or you have to like curl it in two parts it's so annoying and it's so time consuming so I love how this is super long. This one was $48, which I still think is a great price for a curling iron that will get the job done, hold the curl, and leave your hair looking nice, lustrous, and cool. All right, so my next must-have item for literally anybody and everybody is this 
at home. It's a gel like nail cure light thing. My good friend Megan actually put me onto this. I mentioned her in my last video. She puts me onto so much stuff. I'll leave her info here. She swore by it. Her nails were always perfect and they lasted so long. And I was like, what are you using? And she talked about this. As you can see, you can like stand it up like that, fold it up if you want to travel with it. It was only $17, but was what is even more mind blowing about how good it is in the price is the fact that it was only $17, but it came with a bunch of extra stuff to do your nails with. This one comes with a nail buffer, a nail file, a top coat, base coat, three or four gel polishes. There's a couple of them right here. Wipes that help you like take off any excess oil on your hands. A little brush to like buff away the nail particles when you buff away your nails. A nail brush, nail clippers, that's just like some of it. Again, I'm gonna leave everything linked down below so you guys can see, cause it's insane. The little like toe holder thingies. <laughs> Whatever this is, I think this is for your cuticle. It also came with like a little cuticle push back thingy. I don't know where that one is, but yes, basically it's a whole nail set on Amazon for $17. And I love using this. Whenever I use it for my toes, I don't have to touch up my nail polish or anything for at least three weeks. It holds it really nice. I've used it on my nails a couple of times and I did like it. However, on my nails I find I'm just like so, like how do you say this, not dainty. Like I'm very abrupt with my hands and just with life in general. So my nails always end up chipping when I use it but I honestly think that's a me problem. But for your toes, they're perfect. And like I said, my friend Megan, she uses it on her nails. She's much more like careful than I am. <laughs> and her nails will last her, I'm not kidding, like three weeks. So next I'm gonna share some other random stuff. This one, I don't know if it's TMI, but I love it and I wanted to share it with you guys because I consider you guys my friends and I figured if I would share this with my like in-person friends, I might as well share it with you guys. Amazon surprisingly, I have found like the best bra for me. So if you are, have a similar body type to me and you weren't blessed in this region here, <laughs> then it can sometimes be really hard to find bras that like will make the most out of what you have. Obviously without being like an obvious push up, like you know those Victoria's Secret where it makes you jump like three cup sizes and you just feel like so odd, like it's too obvious. I don't even want that, but I wanted something that like I said would support kind of like make the most out of what I had, again, without being like in your face. These bras from Amazon I'm obsessed with. It looks like this. I have one in black. I also have another one in nude. What I also love about this is that it's in like an extra, extra small cup size, which is to me is so hard to find in stores. The black one I actually have is a 28A or double A. Yeah, like I'm, there's nothing there. I have a super small chest and it's hard to find one that fits your size. Definitely check these out. They're perfect. And what I love even more about them is that they're super comfortable. As you can see, like the band here, there's no wiring. It's super thick. So it's just, it doesn't feel really like you have a bra on. Even underneath of here, there's no band. It's like super flexible and comfy. And like I said, it like lifts the very little that you have up without being too intense and it's still so comfortable. It goes with so many different like clothing items. Like it's just great. So I had to share that for my small, small chested girls out there. My last random favorite I wanted to share cause I use these every day and there are these fine liner colored pens. Some of the colors are missing cause I use these all the time. If you're like me and you like to see it take like colorful notes using like different colored pens and stuff like that to show different points. These pens are great for that. As you can see, they write like super fine, so it's not like a super thick pen. It makes your handwriting nice and neat too. I love the Sharpie pens, but they're just so expensive. To get like a pack with all these colors, you literally be spending like 40 bucks. These were only, I think like $10, and it comes with 18 different pens. It's great if you wanna like use different colors for your notes, highlight certain things, so. I just wanted to share that because if you're a dork like me and you get a thrill out of using different colors, 
but you still want it to be super fine and keep your notes super neat, definitely get these. I love them. I use them literally every single day whenever I'm doing like my schoolwork or anything. Another random Amazon favorites are these slippers right here. They're super comfy. I feel like everybody talks about these too. But what I love about these is that it has the like hard bottom so I can wear these outside if I wanted to. I try not to though. They're also, you can wash them. So as soon as they get dirty, you can throw them in the wash. Good to go. They're super comfy, great to wear around the house and they keep your feet nice and cozy and warm. So, and these were only, I believe, $12. All right, you guys, so that wraps it up for my favorite Amazon products. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did happen to like it, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every Wednesday when I upload. And yeah, if you missed my previous Amazon favorites video, I will leave that link down below as well, as well as my Amazon shop so you can shop all of the favorite items that I mentioned. And I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.